The weather last week was wild, as many of you will have seen in last week's video. All through the week we had gale force winds, snow, sleet and hail showers. It was just crazy. But despite that we had some great conditions for landscape photography and I managed to go home with some of the best images personally I think I've ever photographed. The conditions were just amazing. This week the weather has been a complete contrast. Spring has re-begun and we've got these lovely blue skies, sunny warm days and it's just been such a lovely atmosphere to get out and enjoy. I've been out practically every evening this week just enjoying the coastline under this beautiful sunshine and watching these magnificent sunsets unfold across the, across the sea. It's just been beautiful. And tonight I'm out again. And again, we've got these beautiful, lovely blue skies. What I want to do tonight is reiterate the fact that just being out in nature is so good for you and just to inspire you to go out in all weather conditions. But I am really hoping tonight that we might get another golden glowing sunset and hopefully it'll light up the beautiful beach and the scenes around me. So fingers crossed for that. We've still got quite a long time until sunset so one thing I have kind of decided I want to incorporate into my photography moving forward is photographing something a little more unique and unusual and looking at the ground. I often say to people if they're struggling to find photographic opportunities in the landscape look at the ground because it's amazing what is under your feet that so many people just walk by. So I'm trying to practice what I preach tonight and while I'm waiting for us to reach golden hour I'm looking at the ground and because the tide is out we've got all these lovely ripples on the, the beach itself and within some of those ripples we have some things like small shells and annoyingly I've left my close-up lens at home tonight which means I'm not able to get as close to these shells as I would like to but I'm hoping that by photographing them that I may be able to convert these images to black and white because right now the light is very harsh it's not quite low enough for it to be golden hour and that nice light and it's also you know very sunny so we've not got any dramatic light so a good way to make use of that is to convert your images to black and white or shoot in black and white straight off the bat so I'm kind of hoping that by photographing some of these shells within these divots in the sand that I might be able to create some sort of you know fine art type of photography focusing on the close-up details within the sand so again that's exactly what I'm doing just now and just trying to really mindfully tune into the landscape around me and look for things that the majority of people just walk past just trying to, to make the most of the light as well and uh, think of photographic opportunities that will work while we're waiting for the main attraction to kick off hour. My plan for golden hour had been to start focusing on the actual landscapes but as you can probably tell the sky 
is completely blue and uh, as you will all know if you're really into landscape photography blue sky days are not the best for landscapes and actually I'm quite happy about that because what I'm noticing is as golden hour has appeared actually the way that the light is reflecting and casting on the shapes in the sand it's just adding a lot of interest to them we've got these lovely darker shades where the pools are with this beautiful golden light just illuminating the sides of each of these shapes so what i'm doing is just walking around trying to find some interesting shapes that are being illuminated by this golden light and just trying to get something that a little bit different like tonight really is all about coming to the coast and rather than doing your generic seascapes looking for something more unique looking below your feet and trying to make the most of what you do have and of course making the most of low tides where you've got all this lovely expansive shapes and, and textures in the sand such a nice time to be out i think low tide opens up so much wonder when you're at the coastline there's so much to discover happen showcases the sheer beauty of taking the time to look down so I was just walking across the beach and I was coming across your generic things you know your small shells your bits of seaweed and your interesting lines in the sands and then I came across this snail and this snail had obviously been in rock pools or under the sea you know when the tide was in and it's been left behind and it's making this lovely trail across the sand as it's moving its way to towards other pools of water. I've never actually seen this before and it's probably because a lot of us just don't take the time and the effort and the energy to look down at the ground when we're out walking. We just look at the horizon and the beautiful view in front of us. But it's just so nice actually to be able to connect with something as simple as a little snail trying to find its way back to a pool of water and back to safety before a seagull or, or another predator comes down to get it and so I've actually been able to spend the last 15 minutes with this snail just watching it admiring it and photographing it it's one of these moments that's just so simple and unique and like I say unusual something that most of us just walk past but it's been a thoroughly enjoyable experience and uh, yeah I'm going to share those images with you now and hopefully it makes you just think getting out and trying something that little bit different can open your eyes up to a completely different world just below your feet <laughs> Thank you. 
a lovely evening. I've just finished off the night by watching the sunset. I took some generic shots, but really I was focusing more on just enjoying it as well as just getting some nice videos of it for to keep on my video bank for future things. But I think tonight is a great learning curve, I hope for you all, in that there is no such thing as the wrong weather for photography. Of course, if you want really dramatic, interesting, illuminated clouds in your images, then nice sunny days like today aren't going to give you that. But you can still get amazing photographs if you look around you and look for something that little bit different. And most, and most importantly, look at your feet. What's below you, what are you standing on and what are you walking past? because really there is photographic opportunities everywhere. When a lot of people come to this beach, and I've noticed this on my workshops, the first thing they look for straight away is the lighthouse. Then they try and get some images of the lighthouse, including the rocks or the sea, but uh, sometimes the light just doesn't happen. And then you think, well, that's the only shot here, but it's not. You've got beautiful sand dunes, you've got other rocky areas, you've got reflections on the sand if the sea's out, or a night like tonight if the tide's out, you've got the options for looking down at your feet and getting intricate shots of things that have been washed up. There's literally opportunities for photographs everywhere you look. No matter what location you're at, you just sometimes have to switch your mindset to shoot something that little bit different, which is what I, I did tonight. Really, I wanted a shot of the lighthouse with the sun setting behind it, but it wasn't to be. The sun is now setting far too far around this side. There's no nice clouds because it's a nice sunny day. But by looking at my feet and looking at what's on the ground, I was able to get some interesting shots. And I just think it's really good sometimes just to shoot something that little bit different. Not only does it keep your photography fresh and interesting, but it helps you be more mindful of the world around you and look for different photographic opportunities. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's video and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time.